Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the State Road 44 Mission Drive Wallace Road Canal Street Intersection Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Todd Alexander, and I'm the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the plans for relieving congestion and improving safety at the intersection. We encourage your input, and there are many ways to provide feedback. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-788-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash pro J E C T forward slash four four nine seven eight eight dash one. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and to hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or by email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or by email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The project was developed from a River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization study evaluating traffic operations and safety on State Road 44 near the Mission Drive, Wallace Road intersection and the Canal Street merge. The study identified a major bottleneck along State Road 44 at the intersection. The congestion and associated delay were attributed to the short weave section created by the Canal Street merge to westbound State Road 44 that's just east of the Mission Drive Wallace Road intersection. In 2017, New Smyrna Beach Police noted that the intersection was one of the city's top crash intersection locations. As shown in the graphic on this slide, there are a high number of crashes at this location due to the non-typical geometry of the intersection. The majority of crashes are rear-end crashes and sideswipe collisions, likely caused by the short westbound weaving distance. The configuration and spacing between the merge point for Canal Street and the Mission Drive intersection causes traffic to back up during peak travel times, resulting in too many cars attempting to weave on State Road 44 approaching the intersection westbound. The goals of this project are to alter the traffic pattern to improve operations and to reduce the number of crashes that occur near this intersection. The project team has investigated multiple design alternatives and has been coordinating with local stakeholders to define the best option. The original concept proposed minor improvements to the existing condition. 
This design is cost-effective and has zero right-of-way impacts, but it does not eliminate the five-legged intersection, nor does it improve the short weaving distance. The second alternative would have realigned Canal Street to move the merge point farther east. While this design does improve the short weaving condition and also has zero right-of-way impacts, it does not eliminate the five-legged intersection, and it is not cost-effective when compared to other alternatives. The third alternative proposed a roundabout north of the signalized intersection to State Road 44. A variation of this alternative proposed adding a cul-de-sac. This design would not accomplish any of the goals of the project. It does not eliminate the five-legged intersection or improve the weaving condition. It also is not cost-effective and would have right-of-way impacts. The proposed concept relocates Canal Street traffic to the short existing connector road farther east on State Road 44. The commercial properties on Canal Street west of the connector road will have access directly to State Road 44 by a shared use access road. We are proposing this design because it meets all the criteria for the new design. It does eliminate the five-legged intersection, it has zero right-of-way impacts, it improves the weaving condition, and it is cost-effective compared to the other alternatives. As mentioned above, alternatives were analyzed for improvements to traffic flow, safety, and cost. The preferred concept best addresses the traffic congestion and crash concerns in the area. The preferred option is the only one that eliminates the five-legged intersection, does not have any right-of-way impacts, improves the weaving condition, and is cost-effective. FDOT will review community feedback about the preferred concept and other ideas before determining which concept to advance to final design. We encourage your feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 15th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. Those attending in person are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 449-788-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Todd Alexander by email at todd.alexander at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 32720. You may also call Mr. Alexander at 386-943-5558 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 449-788-1 in the search box at the top right and then click Go. Click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on the project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them to FDOT Project Manager Todd Alexander by October 15, 2023. Have a good evening.